The Office of the Vice President, in collaboration with UNFPA de Gambia, officially launched the Gambia Investment Case for Gender Equality at the Sada Uda Karabajawara International Conference Center in Bijilo on Friday. The Gambia Investment Case is a document that provides compiling evidence of the need to invest in the sexual and reproductive health of women and girls. More than half of the country's population is female, and gender disparities are evident in many aspects of women's lives. The report also makes several recommendations to improve gender equality in each of the thematic areas and to support interventions towards gender equality and women's empowerment in the Gambia. At the luncheon ceremony, UNFPA country representative Nairu Sar gave an overview of the investment case and highlighted some of the key reflections for action. The investment case on sexual reproductive health is a bold and visionary roadmap that is fully supported by the government. It is more than just a plan. It is a commitment to act. According to the, the investment case report, a funding requirement of 36.4 million under the modest scenario and up to 77.4 million under the ambitious scenario is needed for the eight year period from 2023 to 2030. The funding shortfall between the government projected spending on reproductive health expenditures and the requirement of the combined investment cases for family planning, maternal health, and GBV ranges from 30 million US dollars in the most modest scenario to 71 million under the ambitious scenario. So the government would need, under this ambitious scenario, around 71 million to address the issues I just mentioned. The report emphasized the need for sustainable financing to support maternal health, family planning, and efforts to combat gender-based violence, and highlights the importance of strategic partnerships. It reveals that achieving our ambitious goals by 2030 requires us to work closely with development partners, the government, or the UN, the United Nations um, the country team, the European Union, private sector, and civil society organizations. We must unite, share our expertise, and pool our resources to make this vision a reality. This report provides a financing roadmap for the government and other stakeholders to mobilize resources for intervention that improve maternal health, addressing family planning, and addressing female gender mutilation and child marriage. Honorable Babu Karaboy, speaking on behalf of the Vice President, reiterated the government's continuous support for the Gambia's investment case, which provides a clear overview of the funding requirements and shortfalls to achieve the three zeros. I can assure you that the Gambia government remains committed to the three zeros. I am optimistic that as we conclude our discussions today, we will recognize the substantial benefits that stem from making prudent and well-informed investments. These investments hold the potential for significant returns, not just in terms of saving lives, but also in fostering socioeconomic advantages from enhanced education to a more substantive and productive labor force with unwavering support and resolve we remain determined to uphold vital priorities and champion the cause of sexual and reproductive rights in the Gambia. Ali Bloom, representing the Secretary General and Head of Civil Service, expressed the government's commitment to the implementation and monitoring of the investment case. I want to emphasize that the government of the Gambia remains steadfast in its commitment in implementing and monitoring the investment case. We are diligently working to improve resource allocation efficiency, enhance program effectiveness, and expedite our progress towards the sustainable development goals. We are resolute in creating a brighter future for all our citizens. Sarafin Wakana, the UN resident coordinator to the Gambia, emphasized that the investment case is not merely a document but a critical tool that will enhance their understanding of the needs, funding flows and gaps in maternal health, family planning and gender-based violence. The investment case will help us develop a national level roadmap for financing maternal health, family planning and gender equality. And this roadmap will be created with a keen understanding 
of our fiscal space, ensuring that our investment is not only impactful but also sustainable. Furthermore, this document's integration of the International Conference on Population and Development, the ICPD agenda, into the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework process is crucial. It ensures that the principles and commitments of ICPD are at the forefront of our development efforts. The analysis delve into the historical and contemporary factors influencing the risks associated with implementing measures to eradicate gender-based violence and harmful practice. The report concluded that the Gambia will not attain the three zeros by 2030 without significantly increasing investment in these areas. Furthermore, the necessary level of investment will not materialize without addressing resources gap and enhancing political commitment at all levels. Reporting for Kirfato, I am Ramutlajao.